make it. Suplex it right now. Suplex make it. Go for it, sir. You're going down. Oh. Hi there guys, it's Aaron here from Mirror Gaming. I'm live at Insomnia 70. Pleasure to be speaking to the one and only Neil Newport. I'm not a crook. And you'll never guess who I find. The last, well, the first person you want to be found with in a zombie infested police station is none other than Nick. Leon Kennedy. It's a pleasure to be joined with none other than Claire Redville herself. It's Stephanie. How's your show going so far? Are you enjoying it? Meeting the fans? How's it been going? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, it's really, I come from theatre originally. So it's, I was quite used to meeting people after the show, mm -hmm. if they liked it or didn't like it. So it's very really nice to meet gamers about the audience. Because you don't get to meet them otherwise. This is my first con since Resi 4 came out, and so it's yeah. really cool to see the reception, seeing everyone bring their steel books and like have me sign the covers and everything. Uh, it's fresh. It's like a blast from the past. Like we experienced this when 2 came out, but that was four years ago. So we're here again. It's just nice to be out again and beat the people. Oh my gosh, it is going absolutely fantastic. It's been so wonderful meeting everybody. How would you go about surviving in a zombie apocalypse? I'd always have a bag of Oreos with me. <laughs> I never know when that would come in handy. Yeah. Eat them, bribe people, I don't know. Uh, I have firearms training. So, oh. and because I'm in the games, I think, I think I know how to survive. I think I'd bottleneck them and just take out like a million with one rocket launcher. I don't know, I just have a lot of good tactics. And so yeah, yeah. I'm not afraid. I'm actually welcoming the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Have you been practicing Bring it? on. <laughs> have you been practicing your roundhouse kicks and suplexes at all? How's that going? Uh, you ready? You want me to start? No. Okay, let's see okay, it. Let's see it. Suplex it right now. Super make it. Go for it, sir. You're going down. I would probably get a lay land, understand where's safe, where's not safe, where can we find any supplies, and then I think that would be kind of similar in Claire's perspective. In the like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'll figure it out. I think that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I do a lot of martial arts. I have my own katana at home. Uh, I'm very good at, with guns. I definitely don't feel threatened uh, while I'm putting the pussy gun in real life, but if you're a zombie, I'll screw you up. But um, no, I think I'm pretty good. I'm a pretty good survivalist, and all. I got a weird multitude of skills. I think I'd be totally full of Nice. In that case, I'll be coming over your house should the zombies start groaning outside do my that. door. If but you can yeah. find me, you can do that. I'll let you. I won't block you at the door. Yeah. I might check you for bites first, but. Yeah. Sensible, sensible. Yeah. I'm just curious, were you aware of Resident Evil before you booked the role of Claire, or is it something that you've learned more about since taking on the role? Yeah, I actually did know about Resident Evil. One of the very first Resident Evil games that I was introduced to was 2. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and, and also I think that the reason I was kind of gravitated towards it was when I realized you could play as a girl. Yes. Not a very common thing at the time. So um, so that was, yeah, so I definitely did know about it. Uh, and I'd also seen, I have three brothers, so like video games has always been around the house, whether it be myself my brothers or my parents that would randomly play with us, so yeah. I think I played up to three on the original games came out and decided that Ari and me were not really compatible because I was so bad at the games. I never finished any of them. And then I got, I was very lucky to work with Nicole Tompkins on RE3 with Jeff Shine as well. Steve Knebley being the director of that. And I played it finally and actually managed to complete an RE game, so it was great. I've been a fan since 1998. So we're, we're going on 25 years now. I knew everything about the franchise when I booked the role of Leon in RE2 Remake. And uh, Resi 4, the OG, has been my favorite game since 2005. So when they asked me to be Leon in that game, I was like, That was my reaction, and it's still my reaction. And so I'm, uh, I consider myself very lucky as an actor to be in a project that is that close to my heart, you know? Is there a particular line that you enjoyed saying most or that fans particularly ask you to I say? I think we can use profanity on this, can't we? I mean, you can go ahead and we can always chop that out. You're a boulder punching asshole. She kind of drops down, you know, on the platform, oh, looking sure. at G, and she's like, trust me, this ends now, you know? Oh, I just got shivers, I just got like, chills. That part right there was like, whoosh, because she came into her own in that moment. All the other times she was kind of going along with it, trying to figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. And then at that moment, she was just like, no, everything aligned and this is going to happen. Yeah, yeah. So and I really and love that part. So, but if it's not that part, then it's the improvised line of, gonna bleep it, I'll catch you, you <laughs> so, And I love that one. One of my favorite scenes in Resi 2 was when he was on the catwalk with Ada mm. and he confronts her. That was just a really complex and emotional scene to film and it was very memorable. And so I like the line when he, they're in like a, like a Mexican standoff. Oh yeah. Pointing guns at each other. And then he goes, then you go ahead and you shoot me. 
and I don't think you can. Oh, amazing. Yeah, that, that was good. You know, I, I, I really, really enjoyed that scene. That's a great line. If you had to pick another Resident Evil game that you're not in, but you would like to be involved in and play any character in them, who, who would that be? And why? Wow, all the new ones are ever coming on. So every <laughs> single new one is kicking going. Uh, the bottom line is I'm lucky to have been in two. If there's a villainous character. Oh, yeah, yeah. I also love playing villains. So, um, so I think that would be fun. And I know that everyone's question is about Code Veronica. Code so Veronica anyway, Remake, Capcom, where? Where is it? I think we'd probably just want to see more Claire. I just, <laughs> I love playing her. I think that she's a very dynamic character that is not only just a badass, but she's also got a very generous heart and she cares. So it's like, it's not like, I feel like sometimes you'll see people and there's like, it's like being nice. She's not nice. She's kind. So it's, it's truly coming from the heart, which I think there's a big dis, like, you know, difference there. Difference there, yeah. Uh, and so she's just doing things because she knows that it's the right thing to do. And one of her lines, when Sherry even looks at her and says, you know, why are you doing this? And Claire says, because I care. That's it. If they ever do a, uh, let's just say like a future Resi game, and they brought back Barry Burton. Oh. And let's say I was like 50 years old, 55 years old. I would want to play Barry Burton one day. I'll let me decide to learn. When my voice got a little like more gravelly and uh, you know, Barry Burton is a hero of mine. He's one of my favorite characters of all time. Yeah, and plus then you get to say the uh, the infamous uh, Jill line, wouldn't you? May yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe one day. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. Donald's or Burger King? Oh my God, what is wrong with all? <laughs> Do you not want to dust your liver? No. Heisenberg, no. People, people, people. Hey, people. Cool. Is there guys? People McDonald's Burger King. Right. So people are probably healthier to eat, I would say, than McDonald's Burger King. Yeah, as long as you get your protein from something. Right? Happy days. Burger King. Oh, you heard it. You heard it. <laughs> Mickey teeth all the way. Their fries are much better. <laughs> no, no.